hello guys today in this video we will talk about our module which is 3pl connector 3pl here stands for third party logistics it is also known as tpl in some region by using this module you will be able to process 3pl import and export operations with ftp server key features of our module are export product details export sales transfers import sales transfer response export sales return transfer import sales return transfer response export purchase transfers import purchase transfer response and import stock of products our module is compatible with community enterprise and odoo.sh now let's discuss 3pl flow there will be a customer who will place an order in odoo as odoo order proceeds a delivery order will be created and delivery details will be provided to 3pl warehouse so 3pl warehouse guys will uh, deliver the product in given quantity as per delivery details provided by us to the customer and they will provide a status of delivery that uh, we have uh, delivered this product in this quantity to this customer etc and uh, according to their status we will proceed the delivery order and the remaining process will continue as it is in odoo now let me show you configurations of our 3pl connector after installing module go to inventory and you will see new menu 3pl connector and in ftp server you can configure as many ftp servers as you want just provide host port username and password also you have to list the directories you are going to use alongside their path in the ftp server and here you can manage which processes you are going to perform for this ftp server that's it for detailed configuration we will go in warehouse just go in any warehouse and just you have to decide that uh, this warehouse is my 3pl warehouse when you check it you will see 3pl configuration here you have to provide ftp server for this warehouse and some details about the operations let's start with product so here you have to give export to directory these are the directories we have listed out so you can see all the directories of this ftp server and you have to decide that when i export product details in which directory i want to export the product details okay in this directory and in which file type okay excel or csv that's up to you a file name prefix so when a file will be created this prefix will be added before the name of the file automation option is also available you can check it true or false if you want to run the scheduler that uh, performs this operation at regular interval of time and if you want to notify users i mean if you want to notify users just check it true so email will be sent whenever this operation is performed with this email template and to this users okay. same thing applies to all the export operations like sales export sales return export sales purchase export export operation configurations are same for it. but you can manage it separately for each process so it's totally dynamic for every process and for import also we are going to use the same import from so we will fetch files from this directory file type will be over here we are going to fetch excel file or csv file that's as per your requirement and your 3pl provider prefix if you provide a prefix uh, when we fetch file for sales transfer we will fetch files starting from this name 
and if you don't provide any prefix then we will fetch all the files available in this directory here also automation options available notify user option available but one extra field over here which is move processed file to and i have just keep the name archived you can keep any name as you want so this field will be used when you know when we import the file and we process it then we don't want that file to be imported again and again so what we will do is when one file is imported from this directory it is processed successfully and after that the file will be moved to this directory so in this directory there will be only latest files provided by your 3pl provider and the same things goes to all the import operations you can see that's it for the configuration now let me show you some operations first of all let me show you export product operation for that we will go to inventory 3pl and operations here you have to select warehouse go to export and product here you can see we have already listed out all the existing products so you can decide which products you want to export and which you don't want to export you can just remove it from here but i am exporting all the products right now so i will just execute and it's done file is created now let me show you file to show how data is prepared because i have access to my ftp server i will just go to files and you can see i have listed all these directories now i will go to product and you can see the file is already created it is excel file of course and yes all the data looks good as we have expected it is exported successfully that was export operation for product so next process is export sales transfer for that i have already created some sale orders and the delivery orders for them so let me show you delivery order first we will go to inventory delivery orders and you can see these three pickings are not exported yet so we will export them and we will go to 3pl connector operations just select a warehouse export and you can see select transfer when we click here new pickings will already be selected so you can remove whichever you don't want to export but i will export all three so i'll execute and it's exported we will refresh the page and you can see it is marked as exported so let me see the file first i have access to my ftp server so i'll go to files and cells you can see a file is created these are the picking details like uh, reference product details then quantity to deliver customer details and the delivery address so this was export sales transfer our next process will be import sales transfer response for import sales transfer response i have manually created a file because i don't have a 3pl provider right now so what will happen that uh, when we export the sales transfer 3pl guys will deliver the product to the customers and provide us a status file that we have delivered this product in this quantity to this customer so like that i have created a file manually i will show you the file first this is the prefix of the file i am going to import and yes here are the details this is pretty much same like uh, 
पिकिंग डिटेल्स ऑर्डर डिटेल्स कस्टमर डिटेल्स एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द स्टेटस इट इज डिलीवर्ड ओके हियर आर द क्वांटिटीज व्हिच आर डिलीवर्ड सो वी आर गोइंग टू इंपोर्ट दिस फाइल एंड फॉर दैट वी विल गो टू आवर ईआरपी inventory 3pl connector operations just select a warehouse import and sales transfer just execute it okay we will go to check in delivery orders you can see i have to remove this filter of ready so i can see all the pickings now i will sort them Here you can see 22, 23, 24 are transferred successfully. So this was export sales transfer and importing sales transfer response, or you can say importing sales transfer status. Uh, the same way it will work for sales returns also and purchase order also. I am not going to show you because it is the same thing. It is the same process. It's just. sales return picking and purchase picking so our next process will be import stock to import stock i have manually created a file so let me show you the file first we will go to my ftp server stock and you can see a stock file it contains product details and available quantity in warehouse So let's just import this file. I'll go back to my ERP inventory, 3PL connector, operations, and I will have to select my warehouse again. Import stock, and you can see in which location the stock will be updated. And just execute it, and it's processed. It will create an inventory adjustment. So I'll go to operations and see inventory adjustments. You can see this 3PL file on this date and this time it is processed. It is already validated, and you can check the moves over here. It is automatically validated, but if you don't want it to validate automatically, we have a configuration for that. You have to just go to your warehouse. Open a warehouse, 3PL configuration, stock, and you will see an auto validate inventory adjustment. You can just turn it off from here, and it will be in draft state over there. So you can just check before it's validated. And one more great thing about this module is we keep all the logs that we have processed so far. So you can see applications, operations. This file has been processed. and if you open it you can see each line processed in detail so that's it for our module guys thanks for watching